Welcome, today we're gonna to install an RV airflow system on a Dometic Brisk 2 AC. First thing we want to do is actually remove the return air grill as well as the filter. We'll drop that down and then we will pop out these covers right here so we can access the screws in order to remove this entire plate. All right, we popped our caps off and now we're just going to use a square number two bit to remove our screws. All right, with our cover off, our next step on the Brisk 2 is to release the control panel. So we have two Phillips screws, one here and one here. We're gonna do on both of those to release this. And then we can uh, undo our full la four sorry, lag bolts here, which will allow us to drop down the AC mounting plate. With our AC mounting plate removed, now we have to remove this upper dividing plate right here, which this, this one is just attached with essentially foam. So we're just going to remove that and take it out. Okay, next it's time to install our duct inserts, but before we can install them, we need to make sure that it's going to fit because a lot of times the ductwork is a slightly different size uh, than what they sent. So we took a measure here. It looks like it's about seven and eight. Let me get another measurement in there just to verify. Oh, there we go. So that was about seven and a quarter, but there we go. That's better. Yeah, so we're about, we're about seven and an eighth. And if you take a look at this right here, uh, we're just, uh, let's see, a little over seven and a half. So. We're going to cut this down. We're going to cut it back to seven and an eighth. What we're going to do is we're going to mark it with a Sharpie and we're actually just going to cut this part right here. So we don't have to cut the whole thing, keep the flange, just cut this part out and uh, then she'll fit right in there. Once you do a test fit, make sure it's going to fit up in there, then we have this foam piece that we're going to put around it. You're going to want to take off the yellow side first, and then we're going to place it around the base here, and then we'll peel off the white side and stick it into the duct so it seals. All right, so now that we have the seal attached and we've peeled off the backer, now we're going to place the adapter in the duct. And then for the other side, we're just gonna rinse and repeat. All right, <clears throat> with our duct adapters in place, it is now time to install the airflow system. So again, on the Brisk 2, this is what it looks like. We have our flange here, and then you can see it will disperse the air right into the ducts. In order to do this, uh, basically wanna put it in on a 45 degree angle. You kinda wanna use like this center point uh, to try to kind of move the AFS up. And then once you kind of get up past the ducts, then you're able to turn it and uh, slip it in place. So let's give her a go. Once we have our AFS installed, now we want to just turn on the AC and try to identify any leaks. Um, you know, a lot of times like around the ductwork, you'll have a little bit of leakage. I have some right here and a little bit here. So I'm just gonna take the foil tape that comes with it and seal those leaks up. Now that we have sealed up any leaks, now it is time to put our AC mount back on. Okay, once you have your lag bolts almost all the way in, you'll see that 
I still have a little flex here. I have a little room. I didn't go all the way up. Uh, that's because you don't want to over tighten or you can cause some damage, but you also don't want it to be too loose because then you can have, uh, won't be a tight seal, and then you can get water coming in the RV. Next, it's time to reattach our control box. Till next time, thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and we'll see you.